how how important is it that West Ham win this game to go into the second leg, or not at all? Is it as long as the ties still alive? Because home advantage, you have to take. Yeah, so I think West Ham will want to win this game. Uh, of course, first and foremost. You think they want to win it? Okay, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. yeah. You don't think they listen, want to lose they're it? They're going to want to win it, and I think they've got more than a good opportunity than going to their home patch, yeah. getting a convincing victory, and then taking it back to, to Alkmaar. So, um, the one obviously won their last game, really good result against your boys, off the back of three awful results. Mm. And I started to worry a little bit and think, oh, West Ham, like, come on, where's the results? Obviously, getting beat by Man City, no disgrace in that. Getting beat by Palace in that 4 3 filler. And then getting beat 2 1 at home by Liverpool. So they bounce back against United. But I almost feel like they're safe now in the league. I know mm. mathematically they're not, but they've got 37 points. I think they'll be all right. Mm. I think they could afford to go all in on this tournament. Have you been in a situation where your league form at your club's not been great, but you've been in the latter stages of a knockout competition? League Cup, FA Cup? Not really, no, not to, not I, to this I, extent. I just wonder if you subconsciously raise your game. Will all the West Ham players play out of their skin tonight because they're in sniffing distance of that final? I expect them to, right? Uh, Probably because also as well they're safe. I guess if they were still in the bottom three or, or fourth and bottom and it was mm. same points, you'd get some players being like, oh, I know we want to concentrate on the um, the cup, but oh, look at our league as well. Like a bit, bit anxious. But the fact they've managed to pick up a couple of results, get seven, a seven point gap between them and the bottom three, if the, I don't think they're going to go down. They could so, so focus now yeah. on this this tournament I agree uh, so we're going to take calls on the back of that and also just a quick word I mentioned it there in the opening seven years yesterday mm. since their last game at Upton Park the bowling ground um, do you think West Ham fans will now look at the London Stadium and feel it's home is no. seven years long enough no because there's year, many years at the bowling but if they win this European Cup and bring that back to the, the London Stadium mm. that will then start to make it feel a little bit like home because you only, you only re- really feel like home when you've got success and you've got memories this would be a fantastic memory if they win this. Mm. That's the start of hopefully many more for them to come. Um, let's go to the phone lines. I want to hear from West Ham fans about the game tonight. And also, I mentioned earlier on that it's seven years to the day yesterday since they moved out of Upton Park. What do you make of the London Stadium? Does it feel like home yet? Is probably where I'll start with Josh, the West Ham fan. Hello, Josh. Hello, Andrew. How are you? I'm good, mate. You? Good, mate. Good, good, good. good. Oh, Josh, yeah. it's an, Josh, it's not a great line. All oh, right, can you hear me? That's no, better. Okay, that's better. Go on, off you go. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, no, Upton Park will always be bigger than London Stadium, regardless of what we do there. It won't even get to 20%. London Stadium won't get 20% of Upton Park atmosphere. Um, two reasons, mainly. I think the main reason is we're too far away from the pitch, like mm. the front row of stands, all yeah. the way around it. But um, I think the big re... I would have stayed at Upton Park and built, because right now there's just flats there, you know what I mean? I agree. Yeah. And you would have had to do the old Green Street up though. I'm not, I don't know about you, Anne, but I'm sure Benty's been there a couple of times. Um, it ain't the nicest area, do you know what I mean? That's the problem. That's why we sort of accepted going to near Stratford, you've got Westfield and that, you know what I mean? Mm. Um, yeah, but it, about, it won't ever what, hit. What, Go on. Oh, Go sorry, on, Josh, I was going to ask, what about before the game, like the pubs in and around the area? Are they better in Stratford? Um... Do you know, there's one, uh, it's about a 15-minute walk, though. Seriously, wow. It's not even like... Yeah, 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 because obviously you got to remember, you, it's on Elizabeth Park, right? Yeah. So you've only got Westfield there, and you've probably got bars trying to sell, like, a bottle bot, bot of beer for about 13 quid or something. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, um, yeah so, uh, uh, yeah, the pubs were much better, obviously, back at Upton Park, but it, it's never going to hit... Upton Park's quality, mate. There's no way in a million years. It's just not going to happen. Do you, ben, Benzie but, said that if yeah. you win a trophy, it will start to feel like home. Would you agree with that? I don't know. I, I, I don't think so. It won't ever... It might feel like home, but if you, your question is, is it going to feel like Upton Park or beat it? I can't see it happening. And also, you've got to realise there's so many tourists there now. It's ridiculous. Because yeah. it's just... Yeah, that's part of football, though. Up. That's football, though, isn't it? Now, yeah, sadly. I know, I know, but come on now. Like, that's... that's it's not the same, is it? No. Let's be real. What would the score be, um, Josh, tonight? Wait, I'm going 3-0. Oh. You don't think you'll score? I'm going 3-0. You don't on, think you'll Josh. score, Josh? Yeah. Uh, Bowen, I think, get two from outside the box, you know what I mean? No, Josh, I think what he was alluding to was that he thinks you'll get beat 3-0. Oh, come on, leave that. What happened, what happened last week? Yeah, you, uh, Josh, you tell him. Yeah. You tell him. Josh. Yeah, come on, son. Josh, are you... <laughs> come on, come on. Josh, are you a big fella? Uh, no, no, no. Oh, I don't sh- know. I won't sh- say nothing. Shut your face. <laughs> 
<laughs> I think you'll win. I hope you'll win as well, Josh. I really do. Yeah, cheers, bro. Take have, care, have a lovely yeah. afternoon. I thought I'd check whether or not if he's a big lad. Yeah, nice one, bro. If he's a, if he's a big lad, I'll just. Oh, well, lovely. Thanks, <laughs> but man, bro, you off. Nice, I really, bro. I really, I really want my Sam to win tonight. I want him to win. I really do. I want to win this competition. Yeah, me too. Give a bit of. A bit of you know I mean? and, and I've never felt like that about any other team in Europe other no, than but mine. I was like West Ham fans are always angry. Well, they're just. We're angry they lost they're they're just, left they're just, Park. Angry yeah, with the board. Angry with Moyes. Yeah, they deserve some luck, you're right. Uh, Steve's a West Ham fan. Hi, Steve. Uh, I'm not a very big person, but you can come and play golf with me and you'll find out that I'm not one to be argued with. Oh. <laughs> what do you play off, Steve? A little tease, a little little red little red Steve. tease. Steve, you know what I'm asking you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> 4, 4.7. Oh, my goodness. I'm not going nowhere near that. You're amazing. Yeah, yeah, but I'm 70 years old, so you've got a chance. Are you? And you play off four. Yeah, 4.7. How, how many times a week are you five, playing? Which is five, really. Yeah. How many times a week are you playing? Well, when I was a disc jockey, I used to play virtually every day of the week, but not that lately. I, I sort of play twice a week if I'm lucky. That's amazing. 4.7, oh. wow. Of course, Steve, you're a West Ham fan. What are you thinking? What are you phoning up for? Um, well, I'm actually on the way down. Uh, I've pulled over. I'm actually on the way down, but I'm not going to the game. I have not been. I used to be a season ticket holder at West Ham. We've had this conversation before. Mm. I will never, ever foot in the London Stadium. I don't care who we're, but it's killing me not to go tonight. Why do you go? I'm, I'll, 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 you know, I've got chances of getting in. I don't Where want go? to go in. I won't give the owners the satisfaction of me actually going. I still go to away what about games. if it's free? I don't care. Jim White has been offering to take me for the last three years. You don't want to go with Jim. It'd drive you mad. No, no. I don't want to go. Um, it kills me. Um, and I'll just sit in the pub tonight and watch it. Told you. Hey, what did, Andy, what, I know. What did I say to you, though, about... Um, <laughs> so angry. Angry. I know. I know. <laughs> Isn't it amazing what people say? Yeah. Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.